Good morning folks, it's Friday the 2nd of December and look where I am, I'm back on the mean streets of Edinburgh. Now I came down here yesterday to watch some of Snooker's return to the capital and I stayed overnight in a wee guest house down here in Stockbridge. Now that gives us the opportunity today to go for a wee wander and I've just decided that the theme of today's video is going to be Christmas. Now there's no denying that Edinburgh's a magical place to be around Christmas, but for me, and this might sound a bit controversial, be sure to let me know in the comments, the manufactured Christmas, the Christmas markets that they put up every single year, it's just not really up my street. And I'll go into that a wee bit later in the video, but for now let's head down to Stockbridge's High Street. one of the great advantages of Edinburgh, it's got this real kind of small town feel. It's like a city made up of lots of little villages. And one such village is Stockbridge where I am just now. So if you're in town for a bit of Christmas shopping, I would say avoid the malls and get yourself down to places like this, you can beat it. Now I'm going to stay fairly central today and try not to do too much walking but one thing to bear in mind Edinburgh is built on a lot of hills so you'll be able to have that Christmas hot chocolate and not feel guilty at all because trust me you're going to burn the calories Aye, although I'm not wandering too far today it's always worth remembering if you're visiting Edinburgh that it's a lot more than just the Royal Mile the Royal Mile's cool, but if you just reach out a wee bit further, you'll find some really special places. Right, we're on to George Street now, and this kind of marks the start of all the generic Christmassy stuff. Now, maybe I'm being a wee bit harsh, so let's go and have a look, see what it's like this year. But just remember, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning at the moment, so it'll be nice and quiet. By the time night falls, this place will be absolutely crazy. Here on George Street, it's only one part of the setup, mainly the ice rink beside me here. And it looks okay just now, but if you add about 10,000 people to the mix, it becomes a very different story. Aye, these guys will be for the kids, but I could do with one of them. I was just speaking to one of the guys there and he was kind enough to give me a sneaky peek at the ice rink because it's not open yet, it opens 2pm till 10pm I think. But he also confirmed that it gets very, very busy in the evenings. But what he was saying was that George Street is still a lot quieter than the main market down on Princess Street Gardens. You'll find little markets all around town like this one on Castle Street. Now although this isn't part of the official Edinburgh Christmas, you will often find that places like this will sell the more local, authentic products compared to what they sell along the road. This little bit down at the Ross Fountain, it's more for kids, but it's also a lot quieter than up at the top of the hill. And there's some absolutely spectacular views from here. So here we are stepping into the magical world of Edinburgh's Christmas markets. Yeah, I say that with a bit of sarcasm, but let me explain. 
My issue here is number one of course how busy this place gets. Give it a few hours and you will literally struggle to move here. And secondly, there's nothing really unique about it. It's the same product you'll see in any Christmas market anywhere in the UK. And at the end of it all, they'll just box everything up and bring it out again next year. I just wish with all the cool things that we make here in Scotland that we could really celebrate that with some authentic homemade local products rather than the generic tat you see on sale here. Rant over. Bah humbug. Right, it's time for me to feel some fear. And just for you, I'm going to have a wee whirl on the wheel. So here we go, and as always on this channel, I'm doing things that I'm a wee bit scared of. This is actually very scary. It's one of the biggest wheels I've seen. Not as big as the one in London, I think, but when you're sitting up here and it stops when you're right at the top, it's not for me. Oh no, we're not even at the top yet. As we get moving again, let me give you some numbers. Now the wheel is 45 metres high, which doesn't sound that much, but it feels it when you're in one of the 36 enclosed capsules, and it runs from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily, finishing up on the 3rd of January. Now the most important number, of course, is price. I paid £10, but you get 20% off that if you can prove you're a resident of Edinburgh. I believe there's family tickets available too. Now I can't remember how many times we went round. I forgot to count it, but I'm guessing four times, and believe me, that was enough. I'd say the views are certainly worth the money and I was lucky enough to avoid the fourth one, what they call informative soundtrack, which is sometimes blasting from the speakers. And trust me, this trip is better off without it. Hey, that was fun and for what is, let's face it, the price of a burger in there, I think 10 quid's pretty good value. So there we go, the main hub of Edinburgh's Christmas markets. But it's not all bad humbug, I'll be honest, at this time of the day it's not too bad. But if you come back in the evening, it's more likely to be Halloween horror than Christmas cheer. I've already heard stories of queues of over an hour to get in, and then you'd be standing there shoulder to shoulder with strangers, drinking your mulled wine. That's just not for me, I'm afraid. I'll finish off today's video with a look at a couple of streets just steps from the city centre that sum up Edinburgh's Christmas more than any artificial market could ever do. And that's Victoria Street and Coburn Street.
and even in this weather it is still, like I said at the start of the video, a magical place to visit. So if you're in Edinburgh for Christmas or if you ever get the chance to come here, I wish you a fantastic time. Thanks so much for watching today, I'll see you soon.